What do you think is the connection between neurobiology and mathematics? And in this intertwinement, where do you think stochasticity belong? There's a strong uh, tradition in neurophysiology of building deterministic models, mathematical models based on differential equations to describe what has been learned from a set of experiments. And that tradition dates back at least to uh, Oching and Oskle. Um, but when you start recording from uh, central nervous systems, neurons that you find in the central nervous systems, for me, one of the striking feature, and I will come back to these features during the, the talk, um, is the viability of the observations we get when we repeat the same stimulations. Therefore, having models that include right at the beginning a strong uh, component of stochasticity seems to me a basic necessity if we want to understand how we go from these seemingly unreliable units to an overall behavior that is reproducible. And a big challenge is how we can build models that are implicitly stochastic and still simple enough so that mathematicians can manipulate them, obtain theorems, and modelers can simulate them efficiently. So a big part of our talk will be devoted to explain this stochastic model that Antonio Christophe and myself, we have been working on a lot. And it's also to convince people, not only from mathematics, but also from neurobiology, that although, although this model is stochastic, it's still simple. So it's easy to simulate. It's easy to understand. So we will take our time to explain it in a hands-on way. And still, it's uh, interesting enough to, uh, to explain a lot of things and very um, different behaviors of uh, real uh, neuronal systems.